This month, Police Bradford Airport gives in and everybody's talking about buses. This is our review of tr the transit news from March. Leeds Bradford Airport has dropped their plans for a new terminal and aims to simply expand their current terminal now. First have introduced 28 new street deck low emission buses to operation in Bradford with future plans to introduce a further 11 street light single decker buses. All three of the major operators, First, Ariba and Transdev Blazefield in West Yorkshire have received funding from the Zebra Fund in aid to purchase new electric buses across the region. Mayor Andy Burnham of Greater Manchester has beaten back a legal challenge from Stagecoach and Rotala against his plans to change how buses are operated in Greater Manchester from profit to as service providers. The central government have announced that it is spending £83 million to provide general upgrades to rail infrastructure in the north to make it more reliable, this including things like lengthening platforms and engraving trackside equipment. Several northern figureheads have been heavily critical of the service cutbacks across the region, like in Bradford, due mainly down to driver shortage and qualifications for routes. Resultant of this, Northern therefore has chosen to prioritise its route with the most demand. Construction has begun on the new White Rose station that will provide train service to the larger White Rose shopping centre on Dewsbury Road. Transpay 9 Express, operator across the north, has recently fired at EOI, expression of interest to purchase a new fleet of units for their entire fleet to the Department of Transport. Construction work has begun on the old Monk Bridge viaduct to convert it to a pedestrian walkway as part of development around the viaduct in Leeds. Thanks for watching, if you enjoy our content why not subscribe and as always for more information about any of the news mentioned here have a look, at, look in the description, have a great day and goodbye.